Ms. Shobana, Assistant Professor in the Department of Physics, Nehru Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, I am here to demonstrate the experiment on ALH method of determining thickness of a very thin wire by interference method. Now, the aim of the experiment is to determine the thickness of a thin wire by airbrush method. The apparatus required for the same is parallel microscope, two optical plain glass plates. Let me show you that. These are the two optical plain glass plates. Sodium vapor lamp, which is used as a source, it spreads yellow light. And of course, we have a wooden stand which has got one more glass plate inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. So, we are placing this uh, plain glass plate tied at one end with a rubber band and the other end of it has got a very thin wire. It can be a hair or a very thin wire or anything that will be uh, used for calculating using average method. So, it is held at a distance uh, from the rubber band. So, let me place it here in the wooden stand this way. So, other than this, we have travelling microscope and a sodium vapor lamp which is used as a source. Now, let me explain uh, how we formulate this. Thickness of the given wire can be calculated using this particular formula called T is equal to lambda L by 2 beta which is measured in meters. Now lambda is the wavelength of the source. Since we are using sodium vapor lamp and it is spreading yellow light, the wavelength of the yellow light is 5893 into 10 power minus 10 meters. L is the distance between the rubber band and the thin wire which is measured in meters and beta is the fringe width. Fringe width is the distance between alternate dark and bright bands that is formed as an interference pattern. So, before we get into the procedure, let me tell you about the tabulation also. The release count of the travelling microscope is 0 0.001 centimeters. So first of all, we will be finding fixing the order of the fringes as n, n plus 5, n plus 10, etc. till we have a clear image of the pattern. Then comes the microscopic readings. Uh, it is uh, divided into MSR, VSR and total reading. Uh, with the five fringes is calculated after having calculated the total reading and then the fringe width that is beta which is to be substituted here in the formula is finally calculated in this tabulation. Now let me go into the procedure of determining the thickness of the thin wire. So here is
getting reflected from this these two glass beds both of them when reflected they coincide or superpose and form an interference pattern the interference pattern is viewed through the microscope so we have to focus the alternate dark and bright bands through this micro uh, telescope Mm. Here is the apparatus required for determining thickness of this thin wire. So we have a traveling microscope. Here is the wooden stand shown earlier with two optically plane glass plates tied at one end with rubber band, and the thin wire whose uh, thickness is to be determined is kept on the other side. at a particular distance from the rubber band now placing this here we are allowing the source of light to fall onto the glass beds now between the rubber band and the thin wire we have dark and bright fringes formed due to interference pattern the principle of this experiment is interference now how is interference formed when the source of light falls onto the glass plates it is getting reflected from the first glass plate as well as from the second glass plate and the reflected waves will superimpose coincide with each other and form an interference pattern we have dark bands due to destructive interference and bright bands due to constructive parity is required for the determination of thin wire using airbrush method is here we have a sodium vapor lamp vapor lamp we have a traveling microscope we have the wooden stand where two optically thin glass plates are placed one end is tied with a rubber band and the other end has got the wire whose thickness is to be determined so let me place it here and how is the interference pattern formed on the mic microscope so how will we view the pattern on the microscope when the light falls on these two glass plates it is getting reflected and due to reflection the uh, there is superposition or coincidence of two rays which will form interference pattern the interference pattern is it goes like it has got a dark band bright band dark band bright band likewise it has got alternate dark and bright bands and the distance between the alternate dark and bright bands is what is called fringe width beta as already told now the fo focusing has to be done for uh, to capture the interference pattern which is between the rubber band and the thin wire so once it is focused we have to calculate the order of the fringe so the cross vertical cross wire is placed at one dark fringe and it is named as n now when we place a coincide the da one dark the dark fringe with the vertical cross wire we will choose the nsr vsr and total reading from the traveling microscope here so traveling microscope has got a vertical uh, scale and a horizontal scale so when we move the screw on the horizontal scale we will be able to move it from right to left so fixing n as one of the dark band we will calculate nsr vsr and hence the total reading total reading being the sum of msr and vsr now it is uh, using this uh, screw on the horizontal scale it is moved through the next fifth dark band and that dark band is named as n plus 5 now again msr vsr and total reading are calculated and it is taken till the fringes are clear moving five bands each now the difference between n plus 5 and n will give you the width of five fringes because n plus 5 minus n is going to be 5 so five width of five fringes is kept as calculated 
from the total reading, subtracting one from the other. It is just, just a difference between the high value and the low value which will give us the width of 5 fringes. Now, dividing this by 5, we will have the width of 1 fringe which is termed as beta. Likewise, we will go for more and more readings for trial and error and take the mean of the nearer values and we will get the value of beta. Now that fringe width is calculated by this procedure, we will substitute this in the formula that is lambda takes the value 5893 to 10 power minus 10 meters. L is measured between the rubber band and the thickness of the wire 2 into beta. Beta is the fringe width that is calculated from the tabulation. Now, thickness is determined using these values. So, finally, the thickness is written in the result as thickness of the given wire is so much micrometers. Thank you.